so they can come use it. <laughs> The conflict is a, a pivotal moment. Ukraine is bravely defending itself against Russian aggression. But at this moment, it's been really good for us to have the time to talk together in private about the support that the UK is giving and how we can make sure that that support is not just here for today, but into the future as well, to ensure that Ukraine and its people triumph, not just on the battlefield militarily, uh, but also stand up for those values of freedom, democracy and the rule of law that we all hold very dear. We've had some very good conversations uh, and Vladimir, it's great to have you here. Thank you very much. First of all, for me and for our team, it's a privilege that you host us here today, Rishi. And thank you, especially, especially you and your government for supporting us. Really, at this moment, like you said, uh, the moment of challenges, the moment for us, for our society, our people, especially for our soldiers, moment is tough, difficult, but anyway, um, but we need success and I'm happy that in this way we are in way of preparing very important counteroffensive steps. But I think it's important for the Kremlin to also know that we're not going away. Right? We are here for the long term. We remain steadfast in wanting to defend Ukraine, not just now to reclaim its rightful territory, but also to ensure that Ukraine has the means to defend itself into the future as well. Uh, and that's another topic of conversation that we've had today is about the security arrangements that we should put in place amongst allied countries for Ukraine for the long term to ensure that it can uh, defend itself and provide effective deterrence against future Russian aggression. Yes, look, we, we are going to be a key part of the coalition of countries that provides that support to uh, Vladimir and Ukraine. Now, it is not a straightforward thing, as Vladimir and I have been discussing, to make build up that fighter uh, combat aircraft capability. It's not just the provision of planes, it's also the training of pilots and all the logistics that go alongside that. Now, the UK can play a big part of that. One thing we will be doing, starting actually relatively soon, is uh, training of Ukrainian pilots, and that's something.